one of several breaking stories that we're following. Shelly Zimmerman was taken away in handcuffs to the same jail where her husband is being held without bond. She is charged with lying at his bond hearing. Tony Pipitone was at the hearing, and Tony prosecutors say she lied under oath about money, pure and simple. Exactly. She lied about how much money she and her husband controlled from a defense fund website that was set up before George Zimmerman was charged in the death of Trayvon Martin. Now here's your look at Shelley Zimmerman. Our first look at her, she claimed they were broke and, at, and a judge let George Zimmerman out on a $150,000 bond because of that. Well, it turns out they had over $120,000 and the state claims she knew it. At her husband's April 20th bond hearing, Shelley Zimmerman testified by phone the couple were broke. You mentioned also in terms of the ability of your husband to make a bond amount that you all have no money. Is that correct? To my knowledge, that's correct. No money, even from a PayPal account set up by the Zimmerman family. And how much money is in that website right now? How much money as a result of that website was... Uh, Currently, I do not know. But prosecutors later listened to phone calls between the Zimmermans, recorded four and five days earlier when he was in jail, and they say they proved they knew they had access to tens of thousands of dollars, discussing how much to spend on bond. If the bond is more than 15, pay the 15. If more than 15, pay 10% to the bondsman. Shelly Zimmerman, you don't want me to pay 100? Defendant, I don't know. Shelly Zimmerman, all right, just think about it. I, defendant, I will. And Shelly Zimmerman, that's what it's for. They were, with all the respect, they were misleading the court, lied, and the defendant just sat there as his wife lied. Judge Kenneth Lester said he was surprised the state had not already filed against Shelly Zimmerman. And just over an hour ago, they did file one perjury charge against Shelly Zimmerman, age 25. Prosecutors obtained bank records showing she transferred $121,000 among credit union accounts belonging to her, her husband George, and George's sister in the days before the bond hearing. Shelly Zimmerman has just posted her $1,000 bond about 40 minutes ago when she was released from the Seminole County Jail. Her husband remains there held without bond because he did not correct his wife's testimony during that hearing back in April. So basically, Shelly Zimmerman bonds out for about 100 bucks, right? Yeah, or paid the 1000 up yeah. front. But she's facing perjury charges. What can she expect? Perjury is a third-degree felony in Florida, up to five years in prison. But more importantly, if she is convicted of this, and she testifies in some way at what will be her husband's trial, possibly, she can be impeached because she will have a conviction for perjury. That's one of the few things you can be impeached for hmm. uh, straight out of the box in a, in a criminal trial. So wow. It, the it ramifications really, yeah. are much greater exactly. than just saying, I don't know how much money we have. And five years in prison is nothing to sneeze at. Of course either. not. And real quick, is a thousand bucks? It doesn't sound like that much for a bond for perjury. Well, they know she's not going anywhere. Right. All right. All right. Thank you, Tony. All right.